Hey YouTube, this is Wallman3 again, coming to you from my garage, and as you can see, I'm sitting down instead of standing up, because my legs got tired, and I didn't want to stand up anymore. So, uh, we have another paper gun review today, and this time the review is of the, uh, hold on, let me get the mag real quick, UMP-45. Now, I was torn between doing this, this gun and the, um, MP5, okay, and I decided to do this gun because it looked a bit cooler and it looked a bit harder to do. So it took me a long time to do this gun to get to doing a re uh, review on it. But so let's start from the back. Um, one thing I didn't like about the reviews that people have had on YouTube before is their stocks either came off or they just stayed right there. And on the real UMP-45, the stock folds. So I decided to make my stock fold over like the real one. And I'll do a tutorial on this later if there's enough comments of people wanting me to do it. So, yeah. The one bad thing about that is it's a little bit hard to get the stock back into the locking position. Like that. Just takes a little bit of practice. But, moving on from the stock, there's a pistol grip, nothing special, it's just a pistol grip, pretty sturdy. The trigger, pretty flimsy, the trigger guard is not too bad, but still a little flimsy. And the, I put, I fixed it up with a little red dot sight right here. Let you see that right now. I'm going to fold this stock over. Let's see, can I get a good angle? Whatever, you can see the dot in it, so that doesn't really matter. But, as I was saying, the. Hold on, let me get the stock back out. Close it up so you can see the sights, but. As I said, it's just kind of hard to put back into the lock. But, moving up from the sight, this little lever right here, this is what folds the stock. You probably see me push that when I closed it up and opened it and everything. So moving on from that, the magazine locks into place very nicely. It's not really going anywhere. You can't necessarily hold the gun by it. Well, maybe you can. <laughs> Shows what I know. But this magazine is really, really big and it's a single stack in real life, a single stack 45 caliber, 45 ACP. So just a couple of specs there. Then moving up from that is the charging handle right here. It's up on this part of the gun and it goes forward, locks back up and that's how you lock the bolt back. And on the real gun there is a little port right here that when you push this forward and back, the charging handle, um, the port opens up. But I did not make that as it would be quite pointless to have. And Alright, moving on from that, I put a foregrip on because the picture I was working off without a foregrip, so I just decided might as well have one. Just better for when the stock is folded up. You can go like this and fit around tight corners and whatnot. But, yeah, so... I don't even know why, why it folds that stock up. It's kind of stupid. But, yeah, so foregrip on there fits pretty nice. It's pretty sturdy. Not too bad. Then the front sight is, I showed you the side picture of it, but it's just a little round uh, dome with a post underneath it. Then down, going to the barrel, it doesn't look that intimidating, really, but it's not too bad. I mean, this, the barrel on the real UMP45 is pretty small, so that's why I made this one small. It's an okay gun, I mean, if you want a gun, a challenging gun to make, and one that will last you a little while, and you have a lot of paper, and you have a lot of paper and a lot of time, go with this one. It's pretty cool. And I may post a tutorial if there's enough comments, and comment, rate, subscribe, roll on three.